welcome to the finale of Metal Gear Solid. This is Ron Moore, along with Bushido Blade Warrior and Mexico. Hey, and it's been a long time since Ron joined us for commentary. Welcome back, Ron. Thanks, it's good to be back, and thanks for doing the rest of this game for me, because I wasn't able to finish it. Uh, yeah, no problem. That's very ECW of you, Danny. Yeah, it uh, sure is. Yeah. And believe me, uh, before we even started, like, oh man, I really, really <laughs> hated being invincible, having my god mode on, and then being locked into a the tank hangar and also the command room where Metal Gear is housed, and just... Oh, so even if I destroy the cameras with the stinger, I'm not getting out of this room, am I? And the whole purpose was for me to die the whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <I> thought! <laughs> that made me mad. Yeah. I remember um, in GoldenEye, I used invisibility in the, the facility. But your mission objective is to talk to Dr. Dork, whatever his name is. <laughs> he can't see you. When you're John Cena, as I was, ah, oh, dang it! So I had to start over. <laughs> you had to be the other John Cena. You had to be Word Life John Cena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just glad that as I was playing this, it's good being in first person mode because it avoids knockdown. Yeah. Mhm. Mm nah. That and what I they get. Say, you get knocked down, down, get back up. Mhm. Mm yep. It doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. Matters how many times you get back up. And this is it. Ah, oh, nope. What it? Uh, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. Dang it, Liquid. You didn't know how to take a hit with a stinger missile. You suck. Right? <laughs> yeah, pretty annoying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Down you go. Get your Metal Gear action figure. Order it today. Live. Metal Gear Cereal. Metal Gear Cereal? <laughs> hey, I should add that. That would be cool. Metal Gear, Cere Metal Gear Cereal. Sons of... Uh, what, would, what would the subname be? Sons of ECW. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> sons, I don't know. Or Sons of Abrigity. Of a what? Sons of Abrigity. I've been watching <laughs> uh, Metal Gear uh, Abridged series. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh oh, look out. He's still not dead. Yeah. Why won't you die? He's like the he Terminator. Yeah. He just doesn't give up. Right. Mm-hmm. How would you know if Snake sleeps late, Liquid? Right. Mm, yeah. Like your revolution was a failure. Just because oh. Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done <clears throat> fighting. What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were, as we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, <laughs> the world needed men. Like the world needed us. Big Boss's dream was to have a place where heroes or mercenaries not to be forgotten, always remembered, and valued as heroes, but not Big tools of the government. Big Boss Man's dream was to feed Al Snow his dog. Hmm. Oh god, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I shared that today on Facebook. I remember... My favorite was when he uh, took off with Big Show's dad's casket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mom was like, what the hell are you watching? Yeah. And yeah, Bruce, Pritchard, Bruce Pritchard did a shoot interview about that. He said there was actually a real funeral service going on not far from there. And they were like, what the heck is going on? Mm. And dad explained to him, sorry about that, guys. We're filming a, a vignette here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's still now that's actually funny unlike Katie Vick which is just disturbing oh man mm -hmm. 
I, I don't know who the hell thought that. Uh, th Vince. Thought of that. that writer should have been fired. Vince McMahon thought of it. Vin oh, man. Oh, and then everybody was, was probably telling Vince, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. He's looking up to Vince. That's yeah. a horrible idea. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, man. Damn, damn. But that was different. Your face is I'm different, a Snake. For a WWE. Wait, he said your face is different, Snake. No, it's not. Ooh. We're twins, you idiot. Well, you're the ugly twin. <laughs> yeah, you you got the you got the you got the recessive genes. I got the ECW genes. You got the WWE genes. Oh, genes or WCW genes. Oh, they're so terrible. Yeah, terrible said, children. Let, let's let's say fun let's say fun terrible lilies. It's a nice French uh, saying. But yeah. Lost in front of ECWs. Hell in the cells. Or cell in a hell. Ooh, super baby method, yeah. What was that movie called where they had those very intelligent babies and they could talk and their mind talk as if they're grown? Oh, oh baby crap. geniuses? Yeah, okay, that's it. Two? Yeah. Nice face, Basil. <laughs> oh boy. Before the day we were even born. Oh, the movie Look Who's Talking. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed. Phenom? Yeah. My bad. But Whoops. I, I did it again. What? Oh, man. The ECW soldiers. I've always dreamed of being an ECW soldier. That is your dream. Yep. With the completion of the human genome project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. We apologize for the slight laggage. <clears throat> DNA impact. <sighs> yeah, good times. Killer Instinct. I haven't played that game in years. Gene therapy. I'm horrible at Killer Instinct. NGSF. The Genome Soldiers. No trivia right there. That's actually Skip Rogers making a cameo appearance in this game. Oh, not, not, yeah, not him. Skip Rogers made an appearance in this. Not him, but the guy that showed before that. That was Dr. Doak from Goldeneye right there. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Just like a bad guy <laughs> to go over everything. I wonder if there's a video that keeps count of how many questions the entire series characters asked and Mel Gear solved Mm-hmm. There's got to be a counter for that. Ding. Yeah. Ding. <laughs> also, I find it funny when you go through the information about the MSX Metal Gear games from the first one to the second one. When they talk about uh, Miss White, they misspelled it with misspelled Holly with two R's instead of two L's. Hmm. Oh. So they made a grammatical error. Just like in Mega Man 3, Dr. Y. Lee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bimmy and Jimmy. I was joking. <laughs> Bimmy, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> you mustn't Bimmy. forget Bimmy. Where's Jilly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that Marion's sister? <laughs> Jilly. Yeah, yeah. Or... No, Nori Noriam is her twin sister. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. Yeah, fear. You're the biggest fool. When I hear you about sport, fool. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, Fear's not with us right now. He might be watching. Possibly hey, I watching. Was, I, I was fooled a long time ago by Ron Moore and J Matt's April Fool's joke. Oh, yeah, 11 years ago. Epic. Mm hmm. Yeah. You, you were saying the only the only people that uh, there's only like a couple people, huh, that did realize it was a joke or whatever, and everybody else thought it was real. Just one. Yeah. That was uh, Kevin from SC2K. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, oh no, yeah. oh no. Oh wait, I forgot Green also because we let him yeah, in on it. I was gonna it. say Green too because he didn't did, didn't didn't he do the response? Yeah, he was in on it. Yeah, 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 he did. He was totally in a on it. Twelve year olds. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> believed him too. Yeah. Well, I would have went SD2KJ, man, because that was before I kind of, I didn't really know Ronnie back then, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even J-Man told me, he's like, yeah, I'm not going to be part of the SD2K or whatever, He because he, I talked to him on Skype, and he's like, and, you know, he kept he kept it going or whatever. He didn't say, oh, no, it's just an April Fool's joke. He got me, too. He got yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are the best kind of April Fools. Kind of yeah. like how I did uh, Mega Man Legends, uh, when it wasn't even March anymore. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's March somewhere. Just not here. I, no, I'm joking. I fought a few people. <laughs> I, I, I fought a few people uh, the other day. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I, I didn't even see the video. I, I seen it came up, but I, I watched it barely today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I watched the whole thing, and uh, I totally understand. Yeah, but at first, it was, it was April Fool's joke. I was making people think. I wasn't going to stream anymore. And Rich said uh, he was feeling sad as he watched it. And he goes, I go, April Fool's. He goes, oh, man, I already thought you were going to stop streaming. You got to look at the dates video. The yeah. dates on the video, people. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a name. No, we have no past, no future. No past, no future. You don't have a face. Mm. It's all right. I'd rather be a heel. Yeah. <laughs> Heels are pretty good, depending. Yeah. On who you like. It's easy to get heel uh, heat. Just be X Pac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Battle damage assessment. Colonel, you double cross me. Taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. The heck is AWACS? Uh, it's an oh, Air boy. Force thing. Ajax. Military. ECW Air Force Base. Uh -huh. Oh, lovely. Piercing tactical nukes. Lovely. Metal Gear. Cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel. If you do that, it's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced <clears throat> me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Get off the camera, Colonel. What's this going on, JR? What happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Make the Colonel. Roy Campbell. The Secretary of Defense just took over the Kodak. Who is that, King? 
That's the same tier of defense, JR, huh? Yeah. Jim is a douchebag. What is Jay Roberts' dad doing in this game? Oh. Oh. There won't be anything left of you when I get my hands on you. And nothing will be the same. Terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA everyone. is already dead. The DARPA chief is already dead. Yeah. He was my friend. Then now he derped. Yeah, yeah. Else, huh? <laughs> well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Oh. You're an embarrassment, Jim. Your face oh. is an embarrassment. Ooh. Then now I embarrassed the ST2K, Ron. Then now you felt that way. <laughs> I was about talking it. about. I was talking about the secretary of ECW. Gotcha. Oh, and I was doing research of Metal Gear Solid on the Dreamcast. Oh, wow. What'd you find there? Uh, let's just say that it's a little uh, darker on the Dreamcast. Oh, boo-hoo, Liquid Man up already. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. You took well, the ECW heavyweight title away from me. <laughs> I want it back. <laughs> you took me. You took away the title boss from me. It's a title you don't deserve. Oh! No, I'm joking. Oh. Oh, heavens. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't mind being a manager like Paul Heyman, just talking, talking, <laughs> talking. Yeah. Maybe occasionally getting slammed. Brock! Mm -hmm. Brock! Lesnar! If you win, Did somebody yeah, say three minutes? Uh-oh. And it takes, <laughs> uh, like, 30 seconds, half a minute just to get into this battle as Liquid is just ranting. Yeah, it has a head start. At this height, mm -hmm. Three minute warning. Should there be a cheat warning. where you freeze it? music ever. <laughs> Should be a cheat. We can freeze the time. Mm-hmm. How about you, Snake? How about you? Here we go. Snake versus Liquid. The match of the century. I can't wait for that. Oh, he kicked me off. He almost fell off. your rules. He almost fell off your arm. Shut up, King. Liquid's a despicable human being. If you can even call him that. Kidnapping Meryl. Look at poor Meryl over there. Somebody help that young woman. Yeah, and get around. Oh. Ee, ee, see double. Ee, ee, see double. W, ee, ee, see double. Oh. The commentary team I liked was uh, Coach and Al Snow or whatever. I think they used to do Sunday Night Heat. I liked mm. They're pretty good. I liked Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby the Brain Heenan. Oh, yeah, Bobby the Brain Heenan. One of, probably one of the best. Rest in peace, Bobby. Hey, Gorilla, you know how the Undertaker got that urn? I'm almost afraid to ask. He earned it. Ha! <laughs> I said, I said, I said, ha! You know, that's the king. I got. I didn't mean to imitate yeah, the king. I meant to imitate, imitate, imitate Bobby the Brain Heenan. And, and he goes, uh, yeah, the old-fashioned way, he earned it. But will you stop? Now, the commentators I got stuck with most was because I watched SmackDown during the Ruthless Aggression era was, uh, I think it was Taz and Michael Cole. And Taz wasn't too bad, but Michael Cole could get annoying. Well, him and oh, Taz Michael together were actually pretty good. Definitely did have his annoying moments. He was yeah. good when he was with Taz. Over the years, I don't know what happened to him. 
I guess without Taz, he just isn't that good. I'm telling you, Taz mm -hmm. carried him through commentary. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. they, Taz they were just can good actually, together. That's all it was. Taz yeah. got the commentary for days. Hey, yeah. I got him back for almost trying to kick me off. Uh oh. Oh, you almost had Tom. Shut up. I'll beat him. Almost. Can you can you, can't you stomp in his hand right there? Nah. Invincibility frames. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, hurry up. Oh, no. Oh. Ah! Oh, and right no. there, you told me not oh, to oh! on. I almost thought I killed Meryl there. I know, you can, him. I know you can stop him. him. I know you can stop, stop him in mid-charge. Uh-huh. There you go. <sighs> Bye, Liquid! Die screaming. All right, start the slow 10 count until he gets back in the ring. <laughs> One. Yeah, the, the last two, man standing. Two, ten. No, look, look, <laughs> no, no, he's like a, he's just a, a splat on the on the ground. So you know he's dead, but they still count to 10 slowly. <laughs> last man standing match. He somehow materializes back together like the Terminator. Good God, he's still alive, King. But he didn't uh, beat the 10 count, so he lost. 1, but whose side is he on? Snake. Oh, you're alive. Thank God. Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that mm. all you can say? Meryl with her Karen haircut. Meryl is actually pretty hot. Hot headed. Oh, no, Jay. So, just like you, the best is yet to come. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. The single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake, I wanted to see you again. Meryl. Meryl. Thanks, Danny. Just like in the movies. An ECW job. Huh? That's a good movie. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I'm going to keep doing the voiceover for Skip Rogers. Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my, my own decision. Otacon. This is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. I'm counting on you. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? Otakon. It's funny how Meryl's voice actress pronounced Otakon. Yeah. 
Uh, I think you can really on... tell that she's really American. I think that was on purpose, though. Like she just don't know how to say, like Meryl don't know how to say his name right. Mm, yeah, of course Meryl could probably say that it's Hal, but let's play Ocarina of Time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, in uh. The abridged series they made, Otacon pronounced Japanime, Japanimes. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Japanimes. Oh, <God. laughs> yeah, that was really original stuff. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not gonna have a love season after all. Looks that way. Too bad. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Snake. It's freezing outside. You need some clothes. There's my sneaking suit. Oh, hey, there's my sneaking suit. Yeah. Pretty How sneaky. And it just happened to be right there. Yeah. Hurry. Mm, looking good, Snake. <laughs> yeah, <yeti. laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Don't rush me. Don't rush me, woman. Yeah, better get that. Gotta get the ration. Even though I'm in COD mode, I really don't need it. You gotta be rational in this game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't even know why I did this. <laughs> It makes for a good video. That's all. That's yeah. all. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The car wouldn't start at first. That would have been a good mm. opportunity to endorse Die Hard Batteries as a sponsor. Mm -hmm. And now, what more sponsor? Die all Hard right, Batteries. This is where I skipped enemies and actually blip went for the barrel. Yeah. Good job. That's a barrel of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Snake freestyle rapping. Her name mm -hmm. is Meryl. I really like her. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. I'm gonna fail. Oh! Oh! We will if you pretty shut up! Rap, uh, uh, pretty good rap on par with John Cena. <laughs> yeah. Kurt Angle. Yeah, My name is Kurt Angle. Angle, and what the heck? I want a gold medal <laughs> with a broken freaking neck. Oh, I'm Kurt Angle. Angle. Oh, Allow me to mangle you. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. What else did he say? My name is Kurt Angle. I'm the king of rap. Better watch out, because I'll make you tap. Or Man, I'll I remember mangle watching you. that live. <laughs> it was funny. I was laughing. <laughs> Some people just don't know how to freestyle rap and don't know how to rhyme worth silver tip dimes. When do you ever give up, Liquid? Yeah, you already lost the match. It's already, like, past the 10 count. Mm-hmm. Way past it. <laughs> no TAS was used here, and look how many times I've shot Liquid yeah. in how, the face. How did you unlock ECW mode? Uh, I used the Game Shark code. Oh, cool. For nice. infinite health. Nice. Uh-huh. Why are you just cheating? The game's not... Oh, why, why are you cheating? The game's not saying, where did you learn how to drive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard that in the video. Why are you cheating? Turn off invincibility. Turn it off. Get good. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember that. Yeah, the guy got mad at me. I didn't go live with this because, well, I probably wouldn't be able to handle everybody's criticism. I mean, I just ignore them or they won't shut up. Like that one guy... The goblin or somebody oh, would ban I them? Ignore, I ignore them, but it's like, okay, you're making me stressed. Oh, yeah, well, if it gets to where it won't shut up and they're just causing toxicity, then just you, you or the moderator would ban them. Like that Tom Goblin banned that guy. Enjoy it, bro. Because mm -hmm. he got mad that I was cheating in Mario 2. 
And uh, Jay, the NES addict, was in the chat. It was funny. He goes, hey, Ronnie, he's not enjoying it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Best joke ever. Dang, I should have said that, too. I said, hey, just enjoy it, bro. But I didn't even think about that. But but that's all right. Jay got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's always weird to get people like that in your stream. And you're like, man, these people, if you're not enjoying it, you know, just get out of here. Right. Yeah, I mean, also, if they're not subscribed to you, that's clear, a clear sign that they don't fully support you. I remember Danny got rid of those trolls in my uh, Metal Gear Solid stream on, uh, when they were on Twitch, and they and one of them came over to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, yeah, it's like, I really don't like anybody talking about somebody, <laughs> talking about whether they've lost it or not lost their virginity. I'm like, dude. How is this even your business? Why are you getting yeah. personal like this? Probably in high school. High school students insult each other like that. You're still virtual. Oh, yeah. Okay, Bear. <laughs> and people like that. Uh, yeah. I'd just say, your mom's a virgin. Oh. Nice She's virgin a virgin Mary. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, King. Good Literally. God, he's still alive. What? You, your car crashed. How are you still standing? Why won't you die? He has the fucking recessive. Uh, he has the recessive genes, but he's still so yeah, still alive. Up. Uh, no, fo fox. The end. Game over. I'm shocked. Die. die. And now word from our sponsor, Die Hard Batteries. He's having a heart attack, Jr. Yeah, die. Fox die. He's having a heart attack, JR. That's impossible. Congratulations. The SC2K got sponsors. Every 30 seconds, we have to mention a word from our sponsor. Sponsored by oh, ECW. Arizona no, sponsored by Ron Moore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. The ECW Ron Moore. Yeah. Get good or get out or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that video, though. The Ravenous Spectre. Get good. Get yeah. good! Get yeah. good! F you, of course. I know how he is. He literally said the actual word. I love that. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. That was funny. That's how, that's the, that's that's how, that's how I discovered hilarious. him. That's how I discovered him. And I subscribed to him because of that. Colonel, are you okay? Yeah, I mean, just because whoever plays their game a certain way, it's like, eh, uh, whatever. I was able to get into contact with the president. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The nuclear strike? He does sound like a snake. Have returned to the base. Now that's the spirit. I have complete authority over mm -hmm. the operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case... The danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you, Snake. I'd like to hear this game in Spanish. I'm sorry. I... Muy habla espanol? Yeah. It's okay, Colonel. Not bad, not bad. I'm not a Mex Mexico can translate. Mexico a whole episode of SD2K in Spanish. Ernest, you and Mazen Power oh, on YouTube should do a Spanish uh, live stream. Just talk, do the whole stream in Spanish, playing video games. That'd be fun. Yeah. I'll even put. That would uh, be my... pretty difficult for me because I can only understand a few words. Hopefully, me I'll and Mazen put the game in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, me and Mazen would do a collab one day if he can come to my house here in Mexico, and he'll translate to the Spanish audience. <laughs> Oh, that'd mm -hmm. be cool. <laughs> yeah. I someone to bring him in. No, I was playing Resident Evil Revelations too. I had it in uh, Spanish, and I was like, some of the translations. I was like, that's not what they said. And like, you know, the literal translations are different from you know one language to another. It's never exactly what they say. Yeah. Indeed, I had to learn that on DVDs. Roy D. Mercer. 
Snake, I'm gonna come down there and kick your ass. Oh. What about uh, Raven? Shaman, son, how about I kick your uh, kick you in the arse? Yeah. No. Mm. Don't worry. Mailing is with her right now. Hank Hill, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'll tell you what. <laughs> that was a good show. That was funny. King of the Hill is great. He had one last message he wanted to say to you. Rusty Shackleford. He told me to tell yeah. you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that. So that's not, that's not he said. Yeah. He also said he'll, he'll always love you. He'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. Rest in peace, Frankie Edgar. Since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am what I about Vulcan Raven? Yeah. So when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was. Who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. Hmm. And I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then, and then die. Snake. I mean, live. What do you think, Snake? Just live. Don't worry. I'm going to choose life, too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a leap to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. Ever y'all ever rode on a snowmobile? I finally realized. No, I but I have. The true meaning of you have. Just a lot more. Just oh. a lot more. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for my own game to come out. I don't think I've actually rode on a lawnmower. I just used one, but not rode one. Let's keep it as a reminder. Yeah, my grandma had one, and then I was like, oh, cool. So I was just driving around on it, and they're like, get off of that thing, unless you're going to mow the grass. 
<laughs> you call yourself lawnmower, but you never rode a lawnmower. Today, I've lived only for myself. That'd be my entrance or whatever. The Mexico's entrance where they come in on the lawnmowers. Yeah. The Smackdown yeah. versus the Raw games. <laughs> yeah. That's how everyone is. You, Mazen, and Omega Ace Gaming, the Mexico's. Nice. Or maybe you, Mazen, and, and we got Nico, if you're still around. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe I'll be super loco. Yeah. Except I can't do a moonsault. <laughs> Off the balcony. <laughs> Man, he's one of my favorite wrestlers. I went back and watched his uh, ECW matches, so I was like, damn. Yeah. And Joe Gertner on commentary goes, Super loco means super crazy. Or, or super crazy means super loco. And jo Joey Styles says, Thank you, Mike Tenay. One of my favorite factions or groups, uh, the Mexicals. Yeah. Good times. Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. It's a time for ACW. Your face. <laughs> oh. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on. Let's enjoy life. Plot twist, the thing doesn't stop, uh, stop, starts, and then they die in the snow and the cold. Spoiler alert. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> In the 1980s, there were more. No, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> oh, come on. I was looking forward to that. <laughs> I was like, you probably do. You know, Ravenous Spectre, I like when he does like that. Like he reads stuff. It's funny. Yeah. In January, now it's not part two. Yeah. He'll read all country. However, as of 1998, there still exists 26,000 <laughs> nuclear war high-ends in the world. Oh, There's man. still 26,000 taters. <laughs> Ron would be good at impersonating people. Like, if he's doing stand-up, oh, yeah, some of my friends, all right, I'll grab an inspector. And then he's going to start talking like him. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Now a word from our sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> Ned Flanders. Oh, James Flanders. Okay. All James right. Flanders. Chuck, Chris Farley. Oh, Chuck Farley. Otherwise, Cam Clark. Yeah. Doug Stone Coast, Steve Austin. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's the end of Mel Gear Solid. And we finally finished this LP. It's kind of a long LP, yeah, but, but for good reason. Yeah, it took a while. It took about maybe two months. Well, I mean, wait, it's the whole LP in its entirety, I think. When did we start it? Last uh, some, no uh, spring or summer? <laughs> I don't remember. I had to go back and look. I know Mega Dan and Raptor Spectre were in, and like, probably part one. Uh, Omega Ace Gaming in part four or five, whatever it was, with the battle with Psycho Mantis. So a lot of people... Maybe the, with those three, other than us, I think those three were the only a special guest that appeared in this LP, I think. And, yeah, it was fun. And I did not, did not get to record the rest of the game, the final battle with uh, Metal Gear. Because I had to move, transition to Mexico. And most people know that story, but I still enjoy doing this LP. And, yeah, so uh, I think I've rated this game before. I forgot what rating I gave it before, but I know I'm going to give it... A nine, I thought I would say a nine out of ten. The voice acting, of course, is great, much better than Resident Evil, and oh yeah, and the game is uh, is just awesome. And uh, yeah, the story is great, and just the the innovation, like the the battle with Psycho Mantis, how he reads your memory card, reads your mind, and how you got to beat him up, unplugging controller one to controller port two, which I tried that on the PC computer with the emulator that didn't work, so. 
Uh, um, but the funny thing was is that it actually works. It's just you have to clear out the player one controllers and then plug it into port two and then set up player two. Yeah, Man, that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, so forget that. So I actually streamed this on the, my uh, actual console, uh, well, my PS2 console last spring. And so, yeah, that was fun. This game uh, will always be ECW. Uh, my favorite game on the PS1. Again, I give it a 9 out of 10. Danny? About mm, a seven and a half out of ten. All right. What are your thoughts on the game? On easy, and when it comes to setting off alarms with the gas chambers, yeah, that part's difficult. Oh uh, yeah. All right, Mexico. You know, I, I give this game. I always do the weird rating. I always do the letter, so I'll give it an A minus. And I gotta say, you know, this is one game that I always heard about from everybody that had a PlayStation. They would talk nonstop about this game. And I could see why, you know, it's a really great game. And, uh, you know, just the adventure, you know, going through this whole game, it's awesome. And then for me in particular, you know, I've only played it through it like a couple of times and only probably beat it once. You know, I really did enjoy it. I just haven't had a chance to get into it as much as everybody else. But, you know, overall, it's been a, it's a really great game. And my most fondest memories of this game, I'm going to have to say, though, is not from playing it, but from doing the actual LPs of this game. Yeah. I remember in high school, people were talking about this, too, around when it first came out. And I've heard of Metal Gear, but that was Metal Gear for NES. And I never... I think I might have seen this on commercial, if I remember. I think there was a commercial for this game. That's probably where I discovered it. Uh, it's like PS3's third year uh in, in ex existence the ps1's uh third year yeah and yeah this game is timeless metal gear yeah yeah it's hard it's hard to come across uh I've, i hardly come across anybody that has the original playstation that hasn't played this game or played you know metal gear in some for form of play or whatever whether it be you know the original or a remake or something you yeah know, this game is you know, very popular yep unfortunately though i've only beaten this game once even with the strategy guide i still got my ass handed to me i beat on normal i don't think i ever tried on hard by that time i was getting hooked on to sons of liberty Oh, nice. <clears throat> ECW. ECW. EC freaking dub. Double U. The best this game gets the ECW out. stamp of approval. Oh, yeah. If Ron puts the ECW stamp of approval on there, you must go play this game now. Developed by ECW Entertainment Japan. Good times. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. It's over. Or is it? <laughs> yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox died. She'll become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. I covered his <clears throat> no, 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 Nobody knows who I <laughs> Awesome. I'm trying to uh, freestyle rap. Uh, chop and slow. Do, 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 music. Do, do, do. Thought he was the inferior one. Yes, 
Who's the third man? Solidus. Yeah, but whose side is he on? What? Mr. President. Biden, dun, how could dun, you? Dun, dun. <laughs> what a cluster. Joe Biden at Solidus Snake. Um, All right. Uh, I killed about 25 of them. Oh, you're a pansy. Oh, you're a pansy. You beat, on, you beat on easy with ECW mode. You're a pansy. You need to be a, be a real man and beat it without cheating on hard. I got a flying squirrel rank. <laughs> What 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 rank is that really? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't even remember my rank. I was like, yeah, I beat it. Turn it off. Flying squirrel. <laughs> All right, guys, that does it for this let's play. Thank you very much. Thanks to Mega Dan, Rapid Inspector, Omega Ace Gaming. I uh, hope I didn't forget anybody else that may have joined in on commentary. And of course, thank you guys. Thanks to Danny for recording the footage when I couldn't finish the LP before I moved. So. Mm -hmm. It was good, guys. Thank you very much. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care. Take care, everybody. And it was great finishing it up, even though I admit that I had to not restart it once, but twice. Stay hmm. ECW, people. And that's the end of the LP. Or is it? Yep. Peace.